This is task 1D, which is the test plan. The idea of a test plan is that you are creating a plan for somebody else, a tester, to follow. When they follow that test plan, they will be able to identify whether or not each test works. So we have a table that you have to use. So the first thing I've done is create that table. Now the test description will be a brief description of the test. Okay, an example of the description of the test would be to test one of the buttons. So let's do that. Let's test, okay, one of the buttons on one of the slides. So we are going to see if uh, the senior instructors button, now I'm not just gonna say senior instructors button works because there's several of them on several slides. So senior instructors button on Samina Kawa slide works. Right. How do we test it? First of all, we need to tell the tester which slide to use. So open slide Kamina Kara. Now we need to tell them which button to use. Click on Senior Instructors button. The tester is now in no doubt what they've got to do. What is the expected result? Once we've clicked on that Senior Instructors button, we should expect to see the Senior Instructors slide appears. Okay, let's have a go at actually running this test plan. So we'll pull up this slide. We'll click on Samina's picture. We now have the Samina Kara slide displayed. We are told that on the Samina Kara slide to click the Senior Instructors button. That's what the tester does. So the tester does that. The expected result was that the Senior Instructors slide will appear, and it has appeared. If it didn't, we would know that a correction needed to be made. Now, all you've got to do is fill in this table, giving instructions to the tester. You haven't actually got to run the tests. Let's do another example, okay? So we want to see that the video works, okay? So video of interior of car displays correctly. So how are we going to test it? Well, we need to open the slide called cars. That's all we need to do because it should play automatically. All right, so video of interior of car plays automatically. Now we could be testing that the text appears at the end of the video. Uh, we could be testing the fact that video just is there. But here we're actually testing about the fact that it plays automatically. That's what the expected result is. So let's do it. Let's open the car slide. And there is a the video playing automatically. Test has passed. And that means that, we, uh, that the tester would tick that off. What other tests can you run? Well, you can't do anything else now to do with the video because we've done one aspect of that. So we can't do things like the text on the video if we've already done that one. We can't do other buttons if we've already done one button. Um, but we can test things like spelling. So we can test that say a name has been spelt correctly as long as we make sure we clearly identify which slide that that name is on and how it should be spelt. We could test the hyperlinks on these pictures. Although we've tested hyperlinks on buttons, the pictures are a different type of hyperlink, so it's reasonable to class that as different. We can test the animation for the pictures, either that the pictures appear one after the other, or that the, they stay on for five seconds each. We can also test that the slides do not move on automatically, or do not move on if we click somewhere on the screen that is not a hyperlink. So there's a variety of tests there to do with making sure the requirements that were listed in the question actually work. So what you now need to do is come up with three different tests, don't do the same two that I've done, and then show them to your teacher, see if you've got the idea of actually identifying clearly how to test it and the expected result before you go on to do the real coursework.